I was absolutely floored. I, you just would never imagine in a million years that something could happen like this. Several months ago, Andrea Sachs got an alarming phone call. Her newborn baby had just tested positive for illegal drugs. Problem is, Andrea hasn't given birth in years. As much as I denied it, they just kept insisting that, yes, I was the mother of this child. There was nothing that I could say to get out of it. To make matters worse, authorities showed up at her door the next day, calling her an unfit mother and threatening to take away all four of her kids. When you know you're innocent and you didn't do anything wrong, it just absolutely, I just, I was in tears. I was a wreck. Turns out, Andery was the victim of medical ID theft. Someone had stolen her driver's license, walked into a hospital, and had a baby, leaving Andery with a $10,000 bill and a fight to clear her name. Do so you think it's a big problem? It's a huge problem. Chris Dorn is a fraud expert with Ingenix, a company that tracks medical ID theft cases. He says victims have more worries than just fraudulent doctor bills. Your medical records can also be altered, with the crook's information substituted for your own. Inadvertently, your blood type can be changed, uh, your medications that you're on that can be changed, your underlying medical conditions can be changed. Which can be life-threatening. Certainly. That's a scary thought. It is.